What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. 11th rank Michigan Wolverines fall to 13th rank Wisconsin Badgers, 35 to 14. Uh, Wisconsin raced out to a 35 to nothing lead, and the game was pretty much over at that point. And Michigan was able to rally and score a couple of touchdowns to uh, make the score respectable. But uh, it was a domination by the Wisconsin Badgers. They were able to do anything they want, run the ball with Taylor, throw the ball in the passing game, dominate them on defense as uh, they flustered uh, Patterson into making some mistakes out there. And it was just a quick complete domination. Now, it's a lot of people, a lot of people, especially – Michigan Wolverines fans in particular are uh, asking uh, she's saying that Jim Harbaugh should be on a Jim Harbaugh should be on a hot seat. That's what they feel. And I think that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way Jim Harbaugh should be on a hot seat. What do you want to do? You want I'm going to ask you Michigan fans one thing. You want to go back to Brady Hoke? Do you want to go back to Rich Rodriguez? Remember them days? Brady Hoke had one good year. He won 11 games. Uh one, one, the t in the tenure he was there, everything else was b subpar or below. You look at Jim Harbaugh, he's won 10 games, three out of the four seasons. Yeah, he's 0-6, well, 0-7 now as of today. 0-7 against the top teams in uh, college football. But uh, he's still, uh, give him the chance, he's still better than the alternative. You let him go and get rid of him, it's going to be about five seconds he's going to be out of work. And he's gonna an NFL team will pick him up. Or another college team will pick him up. He won't be out of work long if you decide to get rid of him, and that would be a huge mistake. Right now, you're on, you're on, you're on the good, you're on the right path. Give it, give it a chance. And even if you are, so you gotta understand the landscape of college football has changed. Michigan ain't gonna never be the Bo Schembechler days. If y'all think it's gonna ever be like that, you forget about it. It's just like Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods ain't gonna never be dominant when he was holding four grand slams at one time. He's gonna never be. Like, it's never gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? It's never, never be like that. Notre Dame football, they ain't going to never dominate the days of when they had Lou Holtz, when they winning national championships and stuff like that. It's never going to be like that. It's never going to be like that's a new day and age in uh, college football. It's more parity. Now, he's like I said, I go back to my first point. He's won 10 games in three out of the four seasons. The guy let the guy produce. You're 2 and one You're still alive in the Big Ten. It's not like you are out of there. Wisconsin is in the East. Y'all in the uh, – West, I guess, is the, uh, I don't know how they separate the conference, the north or the south, whatever. Wisconsin is in the uh, other side of the Big Ten Conference. You're, you're, you're over there with Ohio State. You got a game with Ohio State at home. If you take care of your business, you still have a chance to win the Big Ten Championship. So all is not lost with this uh, loss here. You're going to have to make some improvements. You're going to have to change up your, uh, your, uh, your character on offense. You know, I think uh, with – uh, Jim Harbaugh, he likes to play more of a smash mouth offense, but I think he's going to have to open it up and let Patterson make plays, man. He's got some good receivers on the outside, big physical tall receivers on the outside that can make plays. You need to be more of a passing game and uh, and let the run come off the passing game. Don't 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 run to set up the pass, pass to set up the run type of offense. I think that the defense has got to get more physical. This probably is one of the worst defense I've seen under Jim Harbaugh's tenure. That defense is not that good. Not as good as it was in the past, but it can be good enough for you to win games if your offense is uh, putting up points. You know, you're going to have to be putting up 28 or more points, I think, to uh, be successful with the defense they have right now. But I think, like I said, man, you look, look, let's just go back to um, Jim Harbaugh. He's, he's put you guys in a good good situation. You're better, off, you're better off with him than you was before you had him. Um, his record there, he's been, what he's been in? He's been in Michigan, what, five years? And he's 40 and 15. That's a 730 winning percentage. That's 73%, basically, winning percentage. That's good. That's good, man. That's good in Michigan. You you over there in the Big Ten with Ohio State, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Iowa. You know, you is a Penn State. Northwestern ain't no ain't no walk in the park. You know, you ain't up with some uh, tough, tough, uh, tough division. It's not like you, um, you know, it's not like you over there. You know where uh, Clemson at? Clemson, Clemson, the Clemson Tigers at over in the ACC where they dominate and they basically ain't got a nobody even on your uh, level. It's like the Clemson Tigers in the in the eleven dwarfs over there and the seven dwarfs over there. Nobody on that level. Florida State is yesterday's news. Uh, you know who else is over there? NC State they gonna win you seven eight games, no more, no less. You know Syracuse is much improved, but they still a seven win team for the most part. You know who you got over there with Clemson? Georgia Tech fell off. 
you know, uh, who else over there? Who else over there that they can uh, put up a put up a struggle? You know, they got that. It ain't like that over there uh, in the Big Ten. It's not like that. You got a lot of strong teams over there. So, like I say, the Bo Schellenbecker days are over. That's the point I'm trying to make to you, uh, Michigan fans, man. Y'all saying Jim Harbaugh is on the hot seat? There's no way in the world he should be on no hot seat. The man is producing out there. You got to give him time, give him change, and see if he can uh, finally recruit. My my thing is when he when he's able to recruit a top level high school quarterback to, to Michigan. He's not. I don't think he's brought in a five star quarterback uh, there yet. He's had the hoax, and he's got Patterson over there who's. To me, it's a poor man's Johnny Manziel. He, he's he's nice, but he's not a, a five star recruit out of high school. And uh, it'd be interesting to see once he gets that, you know, what kind of team he, what kind of offense they'll be to uh, produce under uh, Jim Harbaugh. As you notice, when he uh, was at uh, Stanford and he had uh, Andrew Luck, you know, they went to a, a BCS Bowl and defeated uh, Virginia Tech. Stanford defeated Virginia Tech and then won uh, won that game. Defeated them in the Orange Bowl. So when he's had a high caliber quarterback he's produced in one major bowl. So it'll be interesting to see once Michigan get them a major five star recruit at the quarterback position, what kind of uh numbers and what kind of wins they'll put up with under Jim Harbaugh. We'll see what happens if they able to land that uh type of recruit. But um you know if you want to compare Jim Harbaugh, compare him to Lloyd Carr, not Bo Schumbecker, because it's Bo Schumbecker. Compare him to Lloyd uh Carr. I think that's more of a fair comparison. Lloyd Carr was 112 and 40. That was a, that's around about the same percentage, around about 740, 70, 740, about the same percentage of wins than uh than uh that uh Jim Harbaugh has. But they, they they basically winning on the same they on the same winning pace. They on the same pace as a Lloyd Carr. And Lloyd Carr won a national championship with uh with Howard with Howard at cornerback. They won a national championship. Defeated uh. Defeated Washington State in the Rose Bowl, won a national championship. So he had a good run there. You know, a lot of good teams. You know, went to another, went to a Rose Bowl another year in the Lord Carr. They lost to uh, Vince Young in the University of Texas in a great Rose Bowl game. So I think it's more to compare Jim Harbaugh to uh, Lord Carr and don't compare Jim Harbaugh to Bo Schellenberger. But I think that's an unfair comparison because the times have changed now. It's more parity in the Big Ten. Back when Bo Schellenberger played, it was basically two. It was a two team team uh, conference when Bo Schellenberger uh, coached. It was a two-team conference. It was Michigan and Ohio State. Everybody knew it was going to come down to them two teams and they could get all the top recruits in that area. Now it's, it's you got more competition, like I just mentioned. you got more teams that you got to put in from the uh, same recruiting base. Michigan State, Penn State, Iowa, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of more parity. A lot of more parity. Nebraska's trying to come up. You know, just a lot of more parity. Maryland is getting better. You got a lot of more parity uh, in the uh, in the Big Ten than you had more teams with the uh, with the uh, condensing of division with bringing in division and, and basically forming these super divisions five super divisions in college football. It's just more parity uh, in these divisions in these conferences than it was uh, back when uh, Bo Schellen Bo when Bo coached as I butcher his last name Bo Schellenberger coaches. So that's that's just my two cents on it, man. You just got to get this guy a chance, man. Uh, don't. Don't uh, throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak, and get rid of uh, Jim Harbaugh. I think that would be a huge mistake. He's taking you down the right path. And even if it don't get measure, be better than what you are now. I'll take, three, four, I'll take ten, ten, 10 wins in three of the four seasons in a day of the week. Seven days a week, twice on Sunday, I'll take three out of four seasons. I win in ten or more games. I'll take that in a heartbeat. So I think you guys, I think you guys uh, need to give it a chance. He's been there five years, and he's uh he put he's put you guys in relevance. They're number ranked number eleven right now. They'll probably fall somewhere between fifteen and twenty after this loss here. But uh, like I said, the season's still young. You're still in line to win your uh, division and play in the Big Ten championship in Indianapolis. But you're gonna probably have to run the table now, and you're definitely gonna have to win. The last game against Ohio State, and you got that game in the big house. So it'll be interesting to see how that game plays out. But that's just my opinion on the situation. Hold on to Jim Harbaugh. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. Don't put him on the hot seat. You need to be praising him. You need to be pro uh, propping him up. Not talking about putting him, sitting him down on the hot seat because he don't deserve to be there. You know, he's 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 uh, he's he's uh, done a good job at the uh, University of Michigan. He's put you guys back on the map. Y'all basically uh. uh Back, you know, as far as relevance, you know, as far as talk, 
y'all back on that same stage y'all was when uh, Lord Carr was coaching. You know, y'all back on y'all basically back on the same stage y'all was when Lord Carr was coaching. And you just got to keep pushing and keep pushing forward, man, and uh, make a couple of uh, moves as far as recruiting. Get that top level quarterback. Get a little bit more. Uh, get back to the uh, defenses they didn't had the last couple of years under hardball physical, tough, tenacious defenses. And I think they'll be right there uh, with a chance to uh, compete for a national championship. Because not not only was it what two years ago when they was played Michigan, uh, they played Ohio State, and that game was basically a de facto playoff game. And uh, it was a it was a when Paul State went down there. This was in Michigan last time we had Michigan two years ago. And Michigan drove down there, and they got a favorable spot by the referees, and they was able to continue that drive and able to win the game, win a touchdown. That Michigan team was very good. If they would have maybe not got screwed over by the referees, maybe they win that game, and maybe they, they, they're they probably in the playoff game against uh, in, in that year Ohio State uh, went. I think Ohio State lost to uh, that year. Yeah, Ohio State made it. They lost to uh, Deshaun Watson and Clemson in the uh, – in the play in the uh, semifinals of the playoff game, maybe they could have been Michigan that year. So he's been very close. It ain't like he just fall off. He's been very, very close, very, very close. And they haven't been this uh, competitive and this successful since uh, Lloyd Carter Carr was there. So we'll see how it plays out and see what's transpired. But again, Jim Harbaugh job should be safe, and he should be. Uh, they should be looking to uh, build on what they've already accomplished under his tenure. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend, and I holler.